Hey there everyone, this is Danielle. Today I'm going to be playing some Crypt of the Necrodancer. I've never played this game before. I don't think I've even seen like screenshots. I don't know what to expect at all. Uh, I've heard it's very good though, so I'm going to start it up and have a look. <laughs> oh, that's very pixely. I assume that's intentional. It's probably, you know, a pixel art sort of game. Yeah. They told me I was too young. They told me I needed more training. Oh, cute. I told them to drop dead. <gasps> oh my gosh, I love. Oh my gosh. I don't know how I survived that fall. Something strange must have happened. Whoa. My pulse is beating like a drum, but my blood is running cold. I'm not sure what's going on, but I came here with a question. And I'm gonna find the answer if it kills me. This looks amazing, oh my gosh. Um, okay, that's something to maybe watch out for. Uh, so, um, yeah, it looks like the game does might, like, might have some epileptic triggers, so if you happen to have those problems, I would recommend not watching this video, because I don't have those problems and I want to see the regular effects, so avoid this video if you do have problems with that sort of thing. Uh, because, yeah, I'm going to be watching the default settings, so watch out for that. Uh, anyway. Don't, don't, don't press up button when you hear the sound, okay. Okay. Um, I guess that's fine. I'm not sure if that was actually the latency of the visuals or if I was predicting the right timing and just doing it anyway. I guess I'm okay with that. Two, ba, ba, ba. So I have to move on the beat? If I'm gonna survive this, I'll have to remember what Uncle Eli taught me. Every opponent has a predictable pattern, he said. Learn that pattern and you won't suffer so much as a scratch. Okay, I'm not sure what happens if I don't do things on the beat. I'm a little too scared to find out at this point. Uh, I'm using the D-pad to move because, you know, it's going to be more precise for this kind of game. Yeah, that thing's not moving at all, so... That green guy didn't move at all, and this blue one just moves up and then down, so if I attack him from the side, I'll never get hurt. <laughs> a broadsword! Not as sharp as I'm used to, but I bet it can still take out three enemies in one shot. Okay, I really like this protagonist. What a cutie. I think I'm not getting the timing quite right, but it doesn't seem to hurt me or anything when I do that. Looks like those skeletons put their hands in the air when they're about to jump. If I'm in the way when they move, it's gonna hurt. Ha! <laughs> that trap is mostly harmless, but Eli warned me of deadlier traps to come. Okay, so, it's like a rhythm roguelike. I don't know if it's actually a roguelike, but it looks like one. Well, I'm not good at it. 
Yeah, I think it is a roguelike, by the looks of things. Alright. Kind of annoying to have to navigate like this to get through the regular game as well. Ooh, characters to get to the menu, I mean, not the, not the game. Okay, so her name's Cadence. Oh, that's cute. Oh, wow. Who's Bard? No beats, move at any time enemies move after you. Okay, so that's much easier, obviously, compared to Cadence, who has to time her movement carefully. I have some more characters down here, apparently. Tempo, one hit kills for your enemies to survive. Ooh, scary. Protect your lamb at all costs. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> okay, I think this is a roguelike. It's a little hard to tell. Uh, how do I get back out of here? Do I just have to pick Cadence again? Yeah, okay. So I guess I'll just go down to zone 1 now, wherever it's got to. Zone 1. There it is. Your unspent diamonds. What are my diamonds? Oh, I have one diamond. How do I spend it? Uh, do one of these doors, maybe? No, I don't think so. How do I spend a diamond? Uh, yeah. Okay, so in the lobby I can just do this. That's better. How do I... How do I spend my diamond? Before I leave. This is a little weird and confusing. Um... Okay, that's a hint I need a shovel to break these, I reckon. Uh... Dragon Lord, is this good me? Uh... Okay, I'm, I'm in bard mode now, so I can I move whenever I want to. Uh... Now I'm bard. Okay. Uh, I still don't know where to spend these, this, this money before I go into the level again. Back to normal gameplay, because Cadence is cute. I'm a big fan of her. Hmm. Hi. Okay, so that's what the janitor does. I don't really want to do that. How's it going? Oh, I can buy this stuff. I can buy cheese. Okay, so these upgrade my existing items. Okay, I get it. Okay. Hello. What's in here? Permanent upgrades. Okay, so I can buy heart containers and stuff. Okay. I think I will buy a heart container. That sounds good. Okay. Okay, here we go. Zone 1. Oh, that guy's singing in certain time with the music, that's cute. Do I not have a shovel? That's what I do. Maybe I need to do something special to use it. Okay, this is, this is tricky. Yeah, you lose your multiplier when you mess up the timing.
Okay, so yeah, it is a roguelike with really interesting mechanics in terms of this. It's a rhythm game roguelike. I like it. <laughs> I'm not good at the rhythm part, but I like the concept. by Green Dragon. Coins call 57. So I hit quick restart while I lose my gems? Yeah, I do. Okay, so I do need to go back to the lobby between plays in order to buy more stuff. Okay, I got one diamond. What can I spend these on? These aren't permanent, I think. But these are. So I probably want that one. If I can afford it. And my gems go away anyways. There should be a new person here in the lobby since I found someone. Um... I think over here, maybe? Yeah. It's yeah. this guy. Let me train against enemies. Okay, so I can go to zone one and... Okay, so... Okay, that makes sense. Uh, let's head back in and try again. Oh, that's what that trap does. Oh, that was clever. Okay, I can't take out dragons yet. I must need some more powerful weapons or something to take them out. I just have a dagger. That's pretty not good enough. Okay, I got another gem, so I'm bring it back to the lobby to spend it somewhere. I don't know if there is somewhere to spend it. I'll buy one of these, I guess. Cheese? Is, is it a permanent upgrade? Like, the little waste shopping chest once I've bought it in here? Maybe. I guess I'll see what happens. Um, yeah, I haven't gone there yet. Let's try this again. <laughs> See, when I start doing it good, I get that disco floor effect, but I don't get it very long because I'm not very good at the game. <laughs> I love how this guy is singing along with his music. It's so cute. Ah. 
this up again. This is really hard. <laughs> I'm not good at rhythm games. Which is what this is. Um... Skeleton got me. Well, I got another gem. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Am I? Am I torches? Bright torch unlocked. Okay, cool. <sighs> well, I'm getting the idea. This is really good. It's just really, really hard because I'm not good at it. Oh dear, that didn't go well. I got a gem though. Yeah. Maybe spend that somewhere in here. Hello. Hold second weapon. Yeah, that sounds cool. For some reason, the middle thing is always the nicest thing that I want. Out of things that are available anyway. I can't afford the ones that cost two gems because I haven't a second diamond. <laughs> Reminds me a lot of Spelunky because of the random nature and the fact that your health is really tiny and you're not supposed to take any damage. Also, um, well yeah, that's pretty much it. It's like Spelunky. Um, like a regular roguelike, you can take some damage and then you heal back. Um, if you can avoid enemies for long enough or, you know, get the health and stuff. Like in NetHack, that's how it works. But this game... Uh, it's close to this blonky where you're supposed to avoid damage entirely. Uh, I'll have that, thank you. Weird hair, I thought it was some sort of like thriller zombie or Elvis zombie or I don't know, some sort of musician zombie. <laughs> oh my goodness, I didn't even get any diamonds that time. Jeez. So yeah, it's a roguelike that also happens to be a rhythm game. That's an interesting combination. Bad at roguelikes, honestly. So, not a great combination for this game. <laughs> Oh, 
stuff. Nice. That was actually really good, wow. Oh, I messed it up. What's that skull thing do? Is it like a power up or No, it's instant death, okay. I didn't know if I could pick it up or if it was a trap or what. Uh Spike trap, okay. Most of the traps just have a picture of what they do, but that one doesn't do that. This is a little annoying. I can't buy any of those. I'm not sure I can spend this gem anywhere, so it turns I'll probably just lose it. That's a little annoying. Hello. Okay, so that's how you take items back out of the pool, which I don't want to do. I don't think I do anyway. Hey. I would like these multipliers and stuff, but I can't afford them. Uh. I kind of wish you were allowed to just skip a beat and not do anything without losing your multiplier. Since it often feels appropriate to do that. Ah, oh, wow, dragons do a lot of damage. Ugh. Still got a gem, maybe I can spend it somewhere. No, I still only have one one gem, so I can't spend anything. <gasps> yeah, it's about timing. It's just hard though. Oh, I get it, that skull means the boss. I think the tempo is actually faster in this room, which is a bit scary. Oh, I think it slowed back down when I miss missed a beat, maybe? I'm not sure. It says depth 1 in the corner still, which is interesting. Depth 1, level 3, so I guess the depth is like the zone or something, maybe? Oh my god. I think I have a lot of health. Whoa! Okay. Um. Alright, well, I, I guess you have to be perfect and take no damage in that part. Alright. I mean, I guess that makes sense, but I didn't manage to do it. 
Uh, I'm nearing... I'm at 25 minutes of video right now. I don't know how long I'm going to record this for because of the nature of the game. I currently do a level. <laughs> Well, actually, I can buy everything in the shop this time. I have a lot of money. I'm still not getting the hang of the timing. I keep messing it up. It's a really interesting concept for a game, though. And I really like it. In theory. <laughs> Beta Dragon! Yes! So powerful. out of the way quickly enough. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, I might do one more round, run and then see how I'm doing at that point. Since I'm nearly at 30 minutes, I think I'll go for one more run. Whoa, that thing's a trap. as much money this time. I think this sword has more range, which is interesting. Ah, oh, let's multiplier again. So yeah, basically, you have to keep the rhythm right to get multipliers from for your coins that are dropped, so that you can afford to buy upgrades. Oh, that's an interesting system. I kind of wish there was a bit more variety in music, but I get why there's one song for each area. It makes a lot of sense. Uh, what's that? Dungeon mini-map? Vision radius? I'll buy the vision radius. I'll just do it for now, I think. Okay, there's no one 
pages. Have to dig for the golden key. Will it be nearby, or do I have to dig everywhere? Oh no, there it is. Okay, so I've unlocked whoever that is. It looks like a cute wizard of some kind. That is the boss in this area? Yes. Okay, so there are three levels and then the boss, so I might be able to make it all the way down there? Maybe. No. No. Well, that's it for this run. Uh, I'm gonna return to the lobby. Okay, I can spend these two diamonds on lots of different things. How's it going? Hmm. Maybe another heart container, or maybe another purple chest, or maybe one of these. Hello. Wide. Mm, no, I think I want one of these. I'm gonna heart container. Thank you. Okay, well, um, that's good for the Necrodancer. Hang on, let's see what this is. Merlin. Hello. Wow, Merlin's cute. Okay, so you can get spells to show up in chests and rings and stuff like that. Look how cute Merlin is. Smooch, smooch. Mm. <laughs> I assume Cadence is gay. I mean, why wouldn't she be? There's also extra modes down here. I wonder what. Ooh! Dance pad mode. What does that do? What's different about it? It's about the same. I think the timing might be looser or something, maybe? Ooh, cursed heart containers. What do they do? Maybe you can't replenish them if you lose them or something? Like the temporary hearts in Binding of Isaac. I don't know why it's called Dance Pad Mode, but I guess it's just a lower difficulty mode for practice reasons. I'm timing a bit weak, looser, but I'm still having problems with it, so... Yeah, I need practice. Um... Otherwise, it's pretty much the same as the rest of the game, so I'm not really sure what the draw is exactly for this mode. Oops. Can't use the wrong item by accident. Alright, so that's how that works. Uh, I can buy some new upgrade. I can actually buy the purple chest now, so I will. Um, I might have a quick look at the other extra modes down here as well. Let's see. We've got a story mode. All characters mode. All characters including DLC mode. Deathless mode. I don't know what that means. Like, isn't the game already a roguelike? No return mode. I'm guessing you can't go to previous levels in that mode. Hard mode, obviously. Phasing mode, I don't know. Randomizer mode? It's a roguelike, isn't it? 
I don't know. Hmm. I don't know what story mode is. Story mode. Play as Nocturna, Cadence, Melody, then Ari. Complete the whole story in one go. Continue. Oh, okay. Maybe if I stand on these other ones, it'll give me some more hints about what they are. All zones repeatedly without dying. Oh, it'll probably, like, loop you through the game forever, like a marathon sort of thing. Take damage and return to the previous tile. Oh, it makes tiles dangerous. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Uh, I want to see what the other modes are. For some reason, some of them give you information when you step on the staircase, and some just take you straight through to the level. Phasing mode? Phase through walls. Oh, it makes you like a little ghost. Okay, I see. Cool. Enemy attributes are randomized. Okay, so it's like the the enemies aren't predictable, basically. Like they are in normal mode. If you see a third kind of enemy, you don't know what they're gonna do, I guess. Uh, mystery mode? It's a mystery, of course. Oh wow, it doesn't tell you what any of your items are. Oh, that's interesting. Or what the enemies are. Oh wow, that's cool. So you have to just watch their patterns to figure out what it, what they are, basically. Oh, when the shop doesn't have any any. Oh wow, that's really cool. Oh wow. Man, I wonder if my weapon is throwable. Beyond that, I have no idea. Is that a gem? I got something. Oh, that's that's really cool. I really like that. <laughs> I'm guessing seeded means like you get to put in the seed to use and so you can get the same level over and over if you want. For stuff like competitive challenges and stuff, I guess. <sighs> then you got the character select here. Okay, so you have to complete the zones to unlock some of these. So I have to beat the game with Cadence to get Melody. I have to beat the game with Melody to get Aria. It was the other one, Nocturna. I already have Nocturna, apparently. Become a bat. Zone 5 invades other zones. Continue. Hmm, interesting. Accumulate souls by defeating enemies? Creepy. Mary. Mary's so cute. <laughs> so yeah, you have to beat the game with various characters to unlock other characters. Complete zone 1 to get Eli, zone 3 to get Monk, zone 2 to get Dove. Complete an old Char's run to unlock Coda. Oh wow, that's hard. I mean, I assume it's hard. Like, I haven't managed to get very far in the game at all, so... Cadence is cute though, look at that cutie. Oh wow, um... Okay, so I like this game. Uh, I think it's a hard game. Uh, it has a lot of options by the looks of things. Ooh! I assume there's references to other characters I don't know. Kieran Asuka. I recognize that name from um, Danganronpa, and that's also Danganronpa, so maybe that's what they all are? I don't know. I don't know much much about Danganronps. And you can also skin the other characters in similar ways by the looks of things. Well, these are the same skins, so I don't know if we can unlock more of them or if that's just all you get. Hmm. Still interesting. Change soundtrack. Uh, I don't know what any of these mean, and there's no sound in that room, so I don't know how you would tell what you're doing. Uh, a bunch of different settings here you can change. Yeah, that sounds good. Audio options. Nicholas Doust is shopkeeper? What? Who's Nicholas Doust? <laughs> uh, default P1. Okay, so you can pick, like, which character to use by default. Also, you can be a person of colour, apparently. That's cool. I don't know if that, that's, like, changes anything, but it's cool. Uh... <sighs> 
Oh, you can reassign the controls. How much flexibility do you get for that? Oh, I think you can change everything. Oh, that's cool. That's cool and good. I like that. I'm really liking the look of this game. I'm, I'm very impressed. It's hard. I'm not good at it. But I really like it. Um, I like the like range of characters available. I like that the default is this cutie. Um, I like that the game seems to be quite large. Uh, there seem to be four main zones. I'm guessing zone five was like DLC or something. Whoa. Okay, I think this might be a spoiler. I'm probably supposed to know about this part of the game. Right? It looks like I get superpowered when I stand on this line. I don't know why. I mean, that does look pretty cool. Uh, I'm guessing that's like a DLC area because it's already unlocked. And I think something mentioned one of the characters was DLC. There's also local co-op, I don't know how that's gotta work. Oh, I see. It's both of those characters. That's cute. Um, well... I guess I'll just flip it around here because it doesn't want me to not go into two-player. Oh, you can walk around in the lobby together. Oh, that's cute. Boop, boop, boop. Cute. <laughs> okay, um, alright. You've got the tutorial there. I wouldn't want to play this with a single Joy-Con because the way the grid movement works, you really want digital controls, like a D-pad or something, and you wouldn't have that with a single Joy-Con, you just have an analog stick. Daily challenge means online connection. Yeah, I don't think I'm online right now, so that makes sense. Um, this looks really good, but really, really hard. <sighs> so, yeah, um... I love the aesthetic, I love the idea of having, you know, a, a roguelike that's also a rhythm game. That's a really interesting blend of ideas. I like the available characters. Uh, I can't see all of them yet, but the ones I've looked at, most of them are pretty cute. That one's not very really cute. Nocturne is cute, look at that cutie. Uh, and the, like, alternate version of, I guess it's still Cadence? I don't know. The The... You know, the one you can switch to here. I guess that's still Cadence? I don't know if it's the same character or not. I can't say his other ones yet, so I don't know. But yeah, I like the characters that are available. <sighs> and I like the narrative, and I like how... ...cute and hoppy Cadence is. And... The controls are very good. Um, I'm, I'm not very good at controlling them with good timing, but... They are very good. Um, it's not the game's problem, like, it's, it's my issue, basically. Uh, I like this lobby arrangement, which is pretty cool. With all these little doors that go to different oh. friends. I mean, look how cute this, 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 this melon here is. What a cutie. What a cute, pixely cutie. <laughs> um, I'm not sure I like that the music is always exactly the same. I, I guess the timing needs to be the same, like for each area, but I don't know, I, I feel like they could have made it like you have a different song that follows the same basic beat, depending on like what the randomness decides for each of the little, each of the levels in, in the, in the zone. Um, I don't know if that's maybe like a feature you can unlock. There is an option to like change the soundtrack here, I don't know what that does. Uh, I like that you can remap the controls, that's awesome. Um, I, I'm very impressed with this game overall. Um, I would like to be better at it. Like most roguelikes, it's really hard. <laughs> um, I feel like some things would be explained a bit better. I don't really get why you would want to do this. Um... Uh, uh, I, I guess maybe if you'd bought the better health upgrade, you might want to get rid of the cheese. Maybe, I'm not sure. But you're spending more, like, diamonds to do that. I'm not really sure why you'd want to. 
Uh, I like that you get overall upgrades here. I, I, I think roguelikes that have an overall like game, like a like a permanent upgrade system like this between runs is a really good idea. Um, like classics like NetHack that don't have that, they're still good. But I think having this sort of progression is really helpful because it means the the game like rewards you for playing even if you cannot quite click the, the skill you need to do the game really, really well, because these games are hard. Roguelikes are hard games. That animation looks kind of strange as a shadow. I don't know. Uh, I really like the, the... The way the, like, um, vision works is really cool too, how you can see, like, stuff in the shadows just off in the distance a little bit, and if you get close enough, you can actually see all the colours and everything. I really like that effect. It looks really good. Um, the minimap is cute, I like that. It's very clear and easy to understand what's going on down there in the little map. Uh, what else do I like? I, I like this game. Um, obviously it's going to take a lot more playing for me to be any good at it. Uh, but I, li I like it and I think it's good. <laughs> and I'm guessing you only need to do one zone at a time rather than doing them all in one run. Uh, which is nice, because, like, um, Spelunky, for example, I can often get to the second area without too much trouble. Well, I mean, I mean, no, I have some trouble getting to the second area, but once you get there, the only way to get there, like, faster is to have got unlocked the shortcut thing, which takes a lot of effort. Um, and you've got to, like, bring a bunch of treasure to the boundary between the two zones uh, several times in a row in order to unlock the shortcut, whereas in this game... It looks like you always play the zones separately, and then you get this all zones mode that actually does go through all of them at once. Which I think is a better way of doing it, more accessible to have the option to play in shorter bursts rather than have a full game run sort of thing. But yeah, overall, I like this game a lot, um, and I'm hoping I become good at it because I would like to be skilled at the in the art of necro dancing. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's that's me rambling. Done. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I enjoyed. This is a fun game. I like it. Uh, the pixels are real cute, and it's, it's fun. It's a good game. You can just hop around, and and the animations are really cute too. Look at that! Look at that little bounce she's doing the music, it's cute. Cute. Anyway, yeah, I like this game. Uh, I would recommend playing this game. I would warn that it's kind of hard, but that's good. <laughs> also, I'm impressed that there's co-op in this game. Like, I don't know how that would work. I guess you both have to move simultaneously on the beat. Which, I mean, it makes sense, because um, it's a game about moving to the beat, and it's theoretically not, hard, not harder with two players, but it kind of is, that you have to both time with each other as well as with the beat, I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's cool. Uh, I'm going to probably end the video here, because I've rambled on long enough. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I hope this game looks as cool to you as it does to me because I'm pretty impressed with it from what I've seen. Uh, ba -ba. I, I like. And it's kind of funny that I can do that. <laughs>